Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, I'm going to teach you guys actually how to um, create a disappearing block and then it reappears. So, uh, let's get started. First, what is a disappearing block? Basically, you've seen these in obbies. It, it's like it's like a series. It's like a stage, and you touch them, and it disappears, and you fall, and then it reappears. So I know these things look very complicated. I actually have a spawn here, but yeah. So yeah. So look. See if I touch it. Bam, bam, bam. They disappear, but then um, they reappear. And these things are really annoying. So yeah. So uh, without let's get into the video. So I'll show you guys how to do this first. First, uh, let's just uh, exit out of the game, and then I'm just going to select all and accept the spawn location. Let's leave that. So then delete. Oh my god, what did I just do? Delete, and delete, and I'm just going to keep one block, so actually let's just delete that too. Now all I have is spawn location, I just have it there just in case, actually I'll delete that too. Fresh start. So, as you can see, I have nothing in my workspace. And so, first, we're gonna go to the model tab and we're gonna insert a part. And I'm just going to scale it just to make it a little big. And then I'm just gonna make it a little off the ground. Now, remember, now you first you have to make sure that your the, your part is anchored. So, you can do that from here on the model tab, or you can just do view, property, select your thing, and then scroll down. And you'll find it here in behavior. So anchor, you may, you want to make sure it's checked, and that's pretty much it. Now you just want to insert your part. So you on your bar, on the plus sign, the script, and then you want to just get rid of this. Now, first you want to just name your part. So I'm just going to uh, name it. Uh, let's see. Let's name it. What should we name it? Well, let's just keep it. Let's just call it, yeah. Let's just keep it part, guys. Or let's just call it block. There. Now, now you want to define. You want to add some variables. So you want to you want to go ahead and type local. Wait. Also, can you guys see this? Just I think you guys can see. Let's just make it a little big. There. I think you guys can see. It. So first, you want to type in local block is is equal to script dot parent and and then press enter. Then local. Um, a debounce is equal to true, and then do two spaces. And you want to type in block dot touched, and then this colon, and then connect. And then in here, you want to type in function in the inside the brackets, and then add one more bracket. And then inside this bracket, you want to type in hit. And then this last bracket right over here, you just want to press enter before and it should give you like this. There. Now you should come on like you should be on line five, and then you want to type in local oops local humanoid humanoid is equal to hit dot parent. And then you want to do uh this colon thing again, and you want to do find first child. It has to be spelled just like this, and then which is a, and then you want to type in brackets, and then inside the brackets you want to do those speech marks, and then inside the speech mark in capital in the like the first letter has to be capitalized. You want to type in humanoid, so it should be like this. Then just behind the bracket, enter, and then on line six, then you want to do uh, if humanoid is uh, oh, and debounce is equal, uh, then you want to do two two equal signs together, and then you want to do true, then and then enter it, and you want to type in debounce is equal to false, and then you want to do block transparency. Uh, transparency is equal to 0 0.5 and then one press enter again you want to do wait and you want in here now this this seconds is told up to you you can do as many seconds you want basically this is like keep it like the the switch thing like how long you want to like 
how long is it gonna take from turning the transparency from one to zero point five or whatever your thing is? So I'm just, I just do zero point five because I think it looks better. It's better. It's 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 like for the best one, I'll recommend the zero point five. That's the best one. Then you want to press enter again. Then you want to type in block oops, block transparency. So block dot transparency is equal to uh, one. So now this will make it completely transparent. And then, so basically we add this weight because we, we could just do it like, we could get rid of this weight, but then it'll look like just like, you know, like flashes, but we want to add more effects to it, that's what would be easier. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty simple. And then you want to press enter again, which should be on line 11. And then you want to do block dot can collide is equal to false. Now can collide is basically when your avatar can collide it's pretty obvious, like can collide when collide with that part or that yeah with that part. Uh, so basically, and if it's false, that means it's just gonna go through it. It's like um, we'll explain it to you guys later, but it's pretty simple. You guys, it's pretty simple if you put your mind to it. And then you want to press enter again. Then you want to do a wait, and then you want to do zero point five. Again, this is totally up to you how many seconds you want to do it to, and then. You want to do block transparency dot transparency is equal to uh, zero and then let's see we could do what is, should could we do a oh, block and then dot can collide oops not child either can collide is equal to true and then we could do debounce is equal to true. And then, so basically this is what your script should look like. Let me just zoom out a little so it's easier. There we go. So this is what your script should look like. You should have in total about like 18 lines. Also guys, now I'm just going to explain a brief explanation of what this code means. Basically, if first you've, over here we've defined the variables. And then this is like the main uh, function thing where all of this happens so it's like a story like this is like the title and then this is like the text that's why you have the space here so we know what's what part is what so now this part is meaning when the block is touched you want to do like so we did a function which we'll is hit and then the humanoid it's going to find the first child of the humanoid and then basically let's just say like this part if like the humanoid touches, touches it when the humanoid touches it, then the debounce, which is like um, the basically the part when the block transparency and the can collide, it's gonna be like it's gonna like uh, fade away slowly, and then after a few seconds, when the humanoid is not touching it again, like it leaves, it gets to the next block, it's going to revive, like it's gonna come back to this normal shape, and then ends it off, and yeah. Now you just want to go to your and then. Uh, to add now you guys can use this for obbies and yeah so now I'm just going to duplicate these by like two or three times so make it easier for understanding so it makes it look easier now I'm just going to add a spawn and guys this part is pretty cool uh, this is what I do for all my game when I'm adding a spawn just go to your model tab and you want to insert the spawn it should come like this my I'm on a laptop that's why it's a bit smaller screen but yeah, you want to click on this, and then you just want to move it up. And then what you want to do, uh, you can on the explorer just open it up, and you see this decal, or you can just double click, and you'll find that you just want to delete that decal. That doesn't really matter. And then with this, right, you want to go to your properties, so view and properties, and select your spawn location, and then on transparency, make it one. And uh, I'm just gonna keep can collide on right now, so it looks better like this. So now uh, you just want to go ahead and press F5 for to test out your game. And what this should do is basically it's going to uh, when, once I touch it, it's going once I touch the brick, it's going to uh, disappear, and the can collide is going to turn off. And um, yeah, and then once I get off of that brick, it's going to revive. Like it's going to come back to its original shape. It's gonna the can collide's gonna be on and the 
the transparency is back. So yeah, now let's test test it out. So bam, it's working. So if I like, if I don't, if I like stand there, so yeah, and then oh, so you guys can really use this for obbies. Like you can also watch my. If you want to make obbies like this, you want to just make it higher a little, make it go like a little higher, and then down here you can put like lava or like a killbrook also guys uh i actually and you guys can figure that out uh how to make a killbrook because i've i actually have a killbrook video it's going to be in the cards up above like right over here somewhere like it's on the top of the video somewhere over here where my cursor is and uh, yeah just go watch that it's a really simple tutorial it's even si it's like one of my s most easiest tutorials in all this channel in this whole channel it's really easy uh you'll be able to do it within like seconds so and also guys major thing um two things actually i started a new channel the dev pro gaming uh, i do a lot of i'm gonna be doing a lot of jailbreak videos and um i'm gonna be posting a lot of glitches hacks codes and gameplays technically all, all of it um sometimes i might be doing like obbies here and there or like some other games if they're like pretty like popular thing and also the second thing we are eight subscribers on the dev pro come on guys we got like two days i think three days uh let's try to hit 10 subscribers at the end of october um that'll be really cool and then they'll actually give me like more it'll give me more motivation that people are liking my videos i can make more videos easy tutorials so yeah that's it for the video guys uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, don't forget to stay safe and keep developing